All right, guys, what's up? So, yeah, I'm doing a lot of maintenance on my trucker now. I'm getting ready to go up to Big Bear, and I need to correct some of the issues. Um, one of the problems with this truck is I had a lot of issues with the uh, rust flakes in the cooling system, and they get clogged in my oil cooler. So I have to constantly be back flushing this thing. I've actually used, like, the vapor rust and rust, rust remover. So once I did that, the vapor rust, it like I feel like it dislodged all the rust flakes, and, like, I've been... You know, back flushing this thing twice a year is clogged up real fast. So I think I need to get those flakes out or I'm running the Hotel ELC coolant. So I'm running good coolant, you know. Um, but I don't know if it's was, I don't know what the deal is, man, with the with the rust. So so in addition to back flushing this time, I'm going to put in some of this rust pump for radiator anti-rust. So I'm going to add two of these to the cooling system and hopefully maybe help solve the problem. Like I said, I don't know if it's actually continually rusting. Or if it's just something I got a back flush, I get all get the flakes out. But um, I mean, it's been a constant problem for ever since I had the truck. So I've been back flushing probably once a year. But then once I did that, the anti rust thing, it really got bad. So every six months. So um, yeah, because if you let your engine rust internally in the block, I mean that's going to just eventually it's going to you know wear through your cylinder wall, or go through your head or whatever you know. So I gotta get that solved because I mean I like the truck. I wanna keep it a long time, you know. I don't drive. I just I, I, I use it for like hauling stuff, you know. Going back and forth to the cabin, whatever, you know. I saw um, several videos on back flushing. This is my back flush kit. So this originally was a sandblaster, you know, um, you know for like a grit and stuff. It's not like a sandblast cabinet one, but I just hooked a hose thing to it. That goes to that, and this connects to the, the uh, EGR cooler so that's right on top of the actual uh, oil cooler i actually made several videos about this but this video is really just to show you this stuff uh hopefully this stuff will work but um so right now my delta is about 26 degrees on the freeway doing about 75 80. um yeah i mean cruising it's actually not that bad but i could i mean like i said i'm going up to big bear uh in the next couple days so that's when it gets extreme going up a mountain so I get this solved, and what's funny is that this lasts for six months, and then I have to do it again. So, either I got a serious rust issue in my block, or just like I said, it's stuff from dislodged particles. I hope you can see that. It feels very. Uh, what's funny is it's a lot more fine than it used to be. So I think eventually I'm just getting all the stuff out. You know, it's it feels very muddy, but it's definitely rust because it's magnetic. On my other ones, but it seems like it's getting better. Um, it's getting more fine though, so hopefully my rust eliminator will maybe get it better. All right, that's the stuff that came out of my block. Um, yeah, it's kind of terrifying. That's actually my block and my heads sitting in this bucket. Let me do a magnet test. Not good. Alright, it's like a, like a milky color. Alright, I'm gonna put two of those in there. Let's see how it goes. Alright, guys, I'm gonna give you a status update here on the Rust Oleum. Not Rust Oleum, but the uh, anti rust solution. Um, so I'm actually not fully heated up right now, but I actually went up to Big Bear up the mountains and my deltas went from 26 to 8 degrees on average. Um, I mean, it'd get up to about 12 miles, really, doing like over, over 80 miles per hour, but, um, yeah, you know, actually, I, I, back flushing always actually it fixes it, but with it, then what happens is the rust flakes will go in, into the cooler again, I have to keep on back flushing it, but, um, hopefully that stuff will, uh, you know, stop the, the block rust, you know, even though my, uh, the coolant should be doing that normally, the rust inhibitor package, um, but, but the stuff kind of reminds me because it's kind of white, milky looking. It kind of reminds me of like CNC coolant. But uh, all right, we'll see. I'll make an update video, see how this stuff works or not. But hopefully, like I said, I don't want my block and heads to rust away. <laughs> you know, eventually it's gonna it's gonna wear through. So all right, guys, cool.